Tuesday afternoon at Drake University, we found out that enrollment in the pharmacy program is down. But it is not the whole story as to why it appears the number of pharmacies is shrinking. There's a lot more than just, um, you know, perhaps not being able to staff appropriately. Wendy Mobley Buckstein, an assistant professor of pharmacy practice at Drake University, is not speaking to the specifics of the CVS closing. Hers is an overall take on issues facing pharmacies, one she says is amplified by COVID burnout. All healthcare professionals were working long, long hours, you know, hospitals, pharmacies, doctor's offices, we were never closed. Mobley Buckstein says insufficient reimbursement from the pharmacy benefit manager is not giving the situation the medicine it needs. It's a third party administrator of a prescription drug program that is primarily responsible for processing and paying prescription drug claims. At Sumter Pharmacy in Adele, that reimbursement is a big issue because it often leaves them in the red. The reimbursement we're paid again from these pharmacy benefit managers is even lower than the cost it costs us for the drug or even you know, the cost to dispense it. Sumter Pharmacy owner Leslie Heron says that is possible because the pharmacy benefits manager is steering patients to the big chain pharmacies. Pharmacy benefit manager that's managing their insurance is steering those patients to their pharmacies. So they're getting busier and busier. Pharmacies like ours see patients walking out the door every day because they can't afford medications otherwise. Now the Euclid CVS behind me is closing on March 1st. Now the prescriptions here will be transferred to the CVS on Merle Hay Road. And of course, customers can go to any other CVS or a or different pharmacy of their choice. We're live in Des Moines. I'm Marcus McIntosh, KCCI 8 News, Iowa's News Leader.